Buying a home is very similar to buying a car. You walk onto the lot, you see the sticker price, and that's all you have to bring to the table. Right? Like buying a car, buying a home has more than just the selling price to take into consideration. When you buy a car, you know you'll have to put more money into oil changes, gas, maintenance, not to mention insurance, taxes, tag, and title. We're going to talk about a lot of concepts in this video that we've covered in other videos, such as home inspections and appraisals. When we do, you'll see this icon. Make sure you check out our other videos on the Mortgage Mechanics channel if you have questions on any of these topics. While you're there, don't forget to subscribe. First, pre-approval and securing a lender. Your lender will most likely have application fees as well as lender origination fees. We recommend that you secure a lender before you go home shopping because it can help cost you heartache. Some sellers will not take you seriously if you don't have financing in place when putting in an offer on a home. You will also learn what interest rate you will have, which can affect your monthly payment. Talking to a lender before shopping will give you a good idea of the price range you should be considering. Once you've placed an offer on a home, sellers may charge earnest money. This is to protect the seller if the buyer decides to walk away from the deal for any reason. This is upfront money that will come out of your pocket. Most of the time, it is given back to you at the closing table. It can go toward closing costs or back into your pocket. Once your offer has been accepted, you will need to have an appraisal done. Appraisals are needed to secure a loan. This is normally an upfront fee and can vary by state. Sometimes the fee can be worked into your closing costs. Around the same time you have your appraisal done, you may choose to have a home inspection done. It's not required by your lender, but if you're serious about a home, it is recommended. This is a choice and the money does come out of your pocket, so it's something you'll want to budget for. But a good, thorough home inspection could save you a lot of money down the road if they discover something that may need corrected before you buy the home. Depending on the type of loan you're getting, you may need pest, septic, or foundation inspections. And in some cases, a formal survey of the property. Sometimes the seller pays for these inspections. Some borrowers will have mortgage insurance fees. This happens with certain loan programs and with borrowers that do not have 20% for the down payment. These fees are worked into your monthly payment and can sometimes be removed after a certain amount or time is reached. Title fees. You are entitled to pick your own title company. If you do not have a title company that you use, your realtor or lender will pick one that they trust. The company you use is important, especially with wiring fraud cases on the rise. These fees are generally worked into closing costs. Escrow fees. This includes your homeowner's insurance fees as well as any other fees that pertain to your home. Flood, volcano, and earthquake are just some of these fees. These fees are normally part of your monthly payment, but may not be something you consider when calculating your monthly payment while house shopping. The fee is estimated, and depending on the estimate, could be over or under the actual yearly amount. If it is over, you will get a check back at the end of the year. If it is under, you will have to pay the difference at the end of the year. And finally, closing costs. These can vary as well. Sometimes borrowers pay closing costs, and sometimes the sellers pay the closing costs, and sometimes they're split. Whoever pays, they are normally around 2 to 5% of the home value, and can include some of the other costs we've already listed. They can include loan origination fees, title insurance, survey fees, appraisal, credit report charges, deed recording fees, taxes, and title search fees. Your lender is required to give you an estimate of these fees within three business days of your application being submitted, so you have a good idea of the fees to come. Those are some fees to budget for when buying a new home. There is one more we forgot to mention, your movers. This is an out-of-pocket fee, whether you're hiring movers, renting a truck, or paying your friends in pizza. Make sure you're ready. Buying a home is an exciting process that can be confusing at times. When navigating the fees, don't hesitate to contact your mortgage specialist or your realtor for explanations. 
If you're a first time home buyer, you should sit down with your mortgage specialist and have them explain in greater detail than our quick video, the fees associated with buying your dream home. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or email us at info at callequity.com. Please like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.